Hi, I'm Tom Meyer, the current president of Engineers Without Borders. The College of Engineering at the University of Cincinnati graduates students that are academically prepared, socially responsible, and committed to making a difference in the United States and beyond. In addition to typical engineering curriculum, students learn through the top five nationally ranked cooperative education program, as well as through involvement with organizations such as Engineers Without Borders. Engineers Without Borders at the University of Cincinnati was founded in 2005. It's student run with the aid of faculty mentors. We use our skills to develop and implement sustainable projects in partnership with underdeveloped communities. In the spring of 2009, we completed our first project in the Kenyan community of Otho Obwayo. The women's group of Otho Obwayo had requested assistance from Engineers Without Borders to improve their water access and quality. EWB UCIN took on the project and traveled there in 2007 to collect assessment data. We saw that their only source of clean water came from a borehole with a foot pump. Many people tasked with collecting water, such as small children, pregnant women, and the elderly, were unable to use this strenuous system. This forced them to use contaminated surface water for their everyday survival. With health, terrain, and water data, we returned to UC to design an appropriate solution. We created solutions with multiple options and worked with Oto Obwayo to decide on a final design that would work best for their needs. Our design featured replacing the foot pump with a solar-powered pump, which would carry the clean groundwater to two ferro-cement tanks located near the top of the community. These tanks would store water until needed and provide the potential energy for a gravity-fed distribution system through a series of taps. Despite being made simple and attainable, the design had several innovations that made it unique. Instead of using chemical disinfectants which are unsustainable because they require the continual purchase of materials, we create a two-tank system. While one tank is holding water, it is covered with a tarp to keep out potential contaminants, while the other tank is drying, killing bacterial growth through the process of desiccation. Every seven days, the water storage tank and the drying tank are then alternated to ensure that the supply of water available is always clean. We placed our five stands throughout the community at key locations based on population data. We also created animal troughs by cutting plastic drums in half. They can be filled with a valve located at each tap stand, but small holes in the tanks slowly drain the troughs to prevent fostering mosquito growth through standing water. Also, we took special care to use only local materials to ensure that the parts needed for repairs could be purchased if and when needed. After the design was reviewed by the community and peer reviewed by Cincinnati engineers and professors, we moved forward into the implementation phase of our project. Using detailed instructions from us, a local contractor built the tanks while the community dug the majority of the trenches. This prepared us for our return to Otho Obwayo. While there, we worked together with the community to complete several aspects of the construction. We completed the trenches, built the roof structures, and laid pipe. Realizing that education is the key to the long-term success of the project, we held seminars for women and children in the communities. The important topics of our seminar were clean water usage and water contamination prevention. We explained the water system to the entire community and specifically taught seven community-appointed water technicians. 
We trained these technicians on upkeep and gave them pictorial operations manuals for the system. At a community gathering, they redescribed the water system to the entire community in Luo, their local language. In order to quantify the effect of our project, we conducted household surveys to assess current health conditions. We will continue to track data being collected by a local member of the community. Our project was not without setbacks or challenges. Due to a customs problem with an in-country vendor, we did not receive our pump or two of the solar panels on time. Not only was this an engineering problem, but it was also disheartening to realize that we would not be present to see water flowing from our system. Our faculty advisor, Dan Other, agreed to stay behind and assure the safe delivery and installation of the supplies. Just as students were arriving back home in Cincinnati, the final supplies arrived in Othoabuayo. The solar panels were erected and the new pump was lowered into the borehole to replace the foot pump forever. With all of these pieces in place, years of hard work finally came together as we switched on the pump for the first time. But our partnership does not end here. While in Otoabuayo, data was collected for future projects in the community. And we're expanding our reach to two new areas across the Tanzanian border in Niambogo and Berere. The easy access to clean water should improve school attendance as illness and time spent collecting water decreases. It should free up time for women to engage themselves in activities that bring income to the house. For the people of the Othoabuayo community, many of whom had never seen running water, their lives are being greatly improved. We, the community of Othoabuayo area, would wish to give our sincere thanks to the sponsors and well-wishers from USA who came here and gave us a strong support in a project of harvesting water. In this area, for a long time, is an area where uh, is a, an area which is a somehow semi-hurried desert area. The means of getting water has been so very difficult. So when they came here, uh, they have given us another system or means which now has eaten us and has given our women and children and men and animals another way or another easy way to harvest water. This has been done from uh, uh, uprooting, the, our, uprooting our, our former pump, which was very difficult to use to get water, uh, of which uh, getting water to fill a 20 jerry can, a 20 jerry can, uh, uh, to, to fill a 20 jerry can could take two, 15 to 20 minutes. But now we are, we've, get, we've got it through the supply and support of uh, solar panels which give power to get water from the borehole to other tanks which has been built from this uh, project. And uh, from the tanks, the water is being received to the kiosks or uh, water points. This is now being, being uh, harvested very easily and uh, we are now using a little uh, energy to get water, and we are very happy. We are thanking the sponsors, the well-wishers, and the students from uh, Cincinnati, Cincinnati University for, the, for their tender and uh, hearty, uh, hearty love to come to Kenya and help us. We are very happy. May God bless you.